All right, so here's my, uh, I'm but a small YouTuber, 600 something subscribers, so I'm not like all these people sitting there with 100 some odd thousand. I would love to be in that situation. But anyway, my thoughts on the whole uh, Candace Owens um, and um, Blair White little little debate, I'm going to say debate on Dave Rubin. Uh, the, the, the first thing, when it first started, looking at it, I, I was like, Dang, you know, the, saying that, and I'm I'm not big in calling trans uh, transgender people uh, uh, their preferred pronoun either. I'm not really big on that. But for Candace Owens to actually say that, it, it to me it sounds like she knew this was she was trying to get a certain number of people on her side. There's certain people, or there's going to be a lot of people in the uh, in the conservative and uh, you know in, in classic liberal movement that are going to basically say. That we don't want to do, we don't want to, we don't want to use preferred gender pronouns. If it's still a, if it's genetically a man, it is a man. Of course, that's I believe the same thing. That's I understand that. But to say that for for her saying that or prefacing the whole thing and said this is a a a, a man, a grown man sitting across from a woman. When she said that, you said that to try to try to basically get. Uh, a certain amount of people on your side, so you try to hurry up and throw that on out there, so that so that you can so that you can basically get, like I said before, somebody on your uh, everybody on your side, so that even if you kind of lose the debate or you start losing it, it's still you still have that home field advantage. Um, that's basically what that was, and that was that was a low blow, but after that, it just turned into a whole crap show of stuff that really I just don't understand how Dave I have a lot of respect for Dave Rubin but I have no idea why he let that go on as long as he did because to be honest with you it, to be absolutely honest with you within five to ten minutes if they would have kept with that yelling back and forth bull crap I would have just cut it loose right then and there so hey you know what this is it and you and and before you do that you know he gave them i don't know how many ultimatum uh, ultimatums guess they can't really be ultimatums if you never really ended it now the the first it would have been one ultimatum for me after that i would have been i would have just cut it loose that would have been the end of it right then and there because they weren't they they were not trying to see each other's side that's for sure they weren't trying to see each other's side and um so what's the point in debating if you're 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 not open to anything you're not trying to concede any you're not or you're not trying to just give any any lead way on on anything so uh the other thing as as far as the whole candace owen thing i i actually fell kind of for the whole thing at the beginning also because let's be honest she's an attractive woman black woman that is uh saying that she's a conservative and stuff like that of course automatically that just makes you stand out you know it makes you stand out whether whether you like it or not but i had to the i didn't really unsubscribe from her or i didn't really do that because of what the skeptic community does see i think the skeptic community they they jumped on that whole uh thing and where where, where the skeptic community went wrong was they started talking about how fast her meteoric rise that's where they went wrong because then you look like you're just flat out jealous I don't give it and and I don't give a crap what they say they were jealous because if you if all they should have left that part out is that she had some meteoric rise we of course I know what the meteoric rise is the meteoric rise is that she's an attractive woman because the the thing is is that it's just like Tommy Lauren or something like that she's not saying anything else anybody else she's not saying anything that anyone else hasn't already said they 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 said her her videos aren't some kind of Man, wish mine could be like that. I've been working and trying to see how to get this video editing thing going because Lord knows shooting this on my Galaxy Note 8, <laughs> like everybody else has some pretty awesome phone or, or pretty awesome uh, camera equipment and, and sound equipment. Hey, this is the best I got. I mean, this is all I know. I'm but a blue collar worker in America. So, um, part of the reason that Tommy Lauren and all of them take off, it isn't that they're saying anything new. It's because they are attractive. It is what it is. I, and I and I got kind of got caught up in that myself, and I was like, you know, I'm going to let this person, I, I I'm going to let this person go ahead and, and prove to me that that's worth my subscription, and and that's that's where I went with that because, 
like I said, with the Tommy Lauren thing and, and a lot of these other women, Lauren Southern and all that, the main reason that they have the following that they do is because they are attractive women. That's it. Pl plain and simple, that is what it is. So, the skeptic community, I think you hopped on the whole her website thing, which it was completely wrong for her to have that website. But I think you hopped on it because you knew that was that one trump card that that one trump card to try to hope that you can hold this hold something against this woman because she came on and she came out of nowhere and she got more subscribers than every single other per or uh, or as many or starting to get as many subscribers as a lot of y'all that put in the, the time and work hell I wish I could do the same thing I really do I really wish I can do the same thing but it is what it is so I think it was I think it was the the site while stupid and all that other stuff. I think the main reason that they jumped on that is purely because they were jealous of this woman and how fast she came up. It is what it is. Now, do I think that she had a a uh, a uh, political awakening? I mean, it happens. It's happened to a lot of people. I know it happened to me, and it happened pretty quick. And me seeing that I'm on the Democrat side and all that and. And this wasn't what it was, that they aren't what they seem. It happens to people. But the skeptic community, like I said, they made it look like that's what their, that's their main point, is that how fast she got popular. Now, I, to her, she needs to just own it. I would just own it and say, look, it, it, it was a stupid idea. And and I and I, I think she kind of has a, a a leg to stand on in that because with her going through her personal thing that she did, I think with her going through that, you she might have acted irrationally. That things like that happen. Look at when what happened with Vegas and what happened in Texas shooting. All of a sudden, people are like, even people that were pro gun are like, we don't want guns now because I mean things have happened. So that's my thought on it. I think both of these both of these groups just need to go to their, their respectful corners. But Dave Rubin, I I know you'll probably never see this video. Maybe you did. Maybe you will. Whatever the thing is, is that you let that go on a lot longer than I would ever let go on. I would have never let that go on that long. Five ten minutes. They keep yelling at each other. Deuces. That would have been it for me. But hey, it is what it is. That's my video on that. That's my thoughts on it. A little longer than it knows. It looks like it's seven minutes and something. So um, if you like this, comment, like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll make another video whenever something else comes by and that, that I want to make a video on. All right.